Hi, it's Mignon Fogarty with your Grammar Girl bonus track number 35. One thing I like about living in Reno is the cool lightning we get in the summer. I find those bolts of light from the sky to be endlessly entertaining. The word lightning is quite old. The Oxford English Dictionary dates its first use as a noun to describe light from the sky to 1377. Back then in Middle English, spelling was dramatically different from our modern English spelling. Lightning was spelled with a Y and a letter we don't even use today called a yoke that kind of looks like the number three and eventually got replaced with our current letters G-H. So way back in the 1300s, lightning was spelled L-I-Y-O-T-N-Y-N-G-E. Today, there are two forms of the word lightning and people often get them confused. Dictionaries say that long ago, the two words were spelled the same. They both come from the word light, which goes back even further, all the way to Old English before the year 900. But today, the lightning we've been talking about, the bolt from the sky, doesn't have an E. It's spelled L-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-G. -I -I the other kind of lightning, what women do when they get their hair bleached, for example, is spelled with an E. L-I-G-H-T-E-N-I-N-G. -I -I lightning without an E can also be a metaphor for something that's fast. Games, game shows, and even TV shows often have a lightning round. One of the earliest game shows to have a lightning round was the show Password in 1961. And Lightning McQueen was the name of one of the racers in the movie Cars. Two of my favorite quotations about lightning come from Mark Twain. The first quotation is about writing. He said, the difference between the right word and the almost right word is a really large matter. It's the difference between lightning and a lightning bug. The second quotation is about humanity, and I like it despite Twain's rough word choice. He said, the trouble ain't that there's too many fools, but that lightning ain't distributed right. So don't be a fool and remember to spell lightning properly. If you're writing about someone lightning hair, it's spelled with an E. But if you're writing about Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief, it's spelled without the E. My agent, Lori Abkemeyer, came up with a good memory trick. She said, just think of a lightning bolt zapping out the letter E. Thanks, Lori, and thanks all of you for watching.